This is like my fourth, fifth time trying to record this video. Ugh. I swear to God, if this doesn't work this time, I am going to lose my sh Hello, everyone. My name is Nico, but everyone knows me better as Project 2501. I will be your Sherpa, your guide in trying to make a webcam border. Hopefully this time, because I really want this video to be the, the, la the last time I make this. Anyway, we're here to make this little border. So you can go from this looking like this. And I'm gonna show you how. Where? Alrighty, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new profile. We're gonna select 1920 by 1080. And you can select that in the drop down menu here if it's not already selected for you. Come down to advanced options and just be sure to change this to transparency so we have a little bit more control. You can delete the comment if you want. Next, be sure to go ahead and click edit, fill with foreground color so it's now black, and then just go ahead and hide it. At this time, you'll wanna go ahead and select a new layer. We'll just leave it as layer. And then we're gonna make our shape. Select the rectangle icon up here, and then just be sure to leave room on the top and bottom, a little bit of space. You'll understand why momentarily. And we're just gonna go with that as a basic shape for now. Uh, let's go ahead and fill that with our foreground color. This is actually gonna make our image mask. Next, you're gonna to wanna to come up to your layer menu here and then select Prop to Content. Be sure to do it in the layer menu and not the image menu or else you'll have very different results. The next thing we're gonna to want to do is center our image. So go ahead and select your alignment tool here and then be sure that your image is selected. And then with the dropdown set at relative to image, go ahead and click these two buttons to center your image. With the image centered, we now need to export this as this will be our image mask that we'll be using later. So go ahead and come down to here, export as. I already have a neon tutorial folder selected and then just go ahead and title this whatever you want. We're gonna call this image mask. Click enter again and you're good to go. The next step is that we're gonna to want to right click on our layer here and click alpha to selection. And then up here in the select menu, we're gonna come all the way down to the bottom and select to path. Next, we're gonna come over here and open up a new layer. Now at this point, we might wanna start labeling these. So we're gonna call this border. And then we're gonna come over here to our paths and we're gonna right click on our selection. Uh, actually, before you do that, go over here and be sure to swap these so that the white is in the foreground. Now come over here and click stroke path. I like to leave my border a little bit thin, so we can leave this at five pixels, but honestly, you can play with the numbers however you like. Uh, we're gonna leave it at five here, so go ahead and click stroke. And we're gonna go ahead and hide our black layer, our, our image mask, if you will. Uh, and now you can see a very thin line that is gonna be our border. So next we're gonna want to right click on this and again, click alpha to selection. So now the actual border itself is selected. And then come down here, select another new layer. This one we're gonna call glow. Now we come over here, we have our glow layer selected. We're gonna come up here to select come down to grow and we're gonna bump this up to only about five pixels. Five pixels should be perfectly fine. And now we have expanded it a little bit and make sure that your glow is selected when you do this next step. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come in here and we're gonna choose our color. I already know what color I want and I have it just able to paste in here. So click enter. If you want, I will have these color codes in the description if you want to just do a direct duplicate of what I'm doing uh, and then click OK, then click on the black, do the same thing or whatever color you select, whether you need to start with a light color and then we're going to this is going to be our darker tone. So I click on this and if you want, you can just 
come on down just drag it down until it's nice and dark for you uh, I already know what my color is so I just input it here I like my nice dark kind of navy sort of purple purple color um, anyway so we have our glow and then this is going to be our accent so right now we're making our glow so go ahead and come up to edit fill with foreground color and it's going to cover the border for the time being but that's fine that's not going to be an issue so come over here alpha to selection again make another layer and this is going to be our accent and with our accent layer selected we're going to go ahead and grow again and we're going to bring this down to about maybe two it doesn't need to be that thick and then with this we're going to fill with the background color because that is our accent now we can change the order here so that everything is sitting where it's supposed to so you want the the glow to be on the bottom accent to be on top of that and then the border to be on top of that then if we come over here and select none you can see very a very thin line with our accent a thicker line with our glow and then the border of course on top of all that and if you want you can use the background as contrast so you can get a better idea of what it looks like all that's left to do now is just get our blurs in effect so we're going to come over here we're going to select glow our glow layer and then come over to filters blur gaussian blur and that'll bring up a little menu here and we're going to bring that down to zero and then i just like to kind of click on the up arrow until i get an effect that i'm happy with uh, for me i usually like going no higher than about maybe four possibly five uh, just depending on your taste and preference so i'm going to leave it at four and then we're going to select our accent and we're going to do the same thing but we're not going to blur it all that much we're actually only going to probably go as far as maybe two yeah we're gonna we're gonna stick with two uh the reason is is that you can see just a very hint of that accent color and i think i i personally feel it makes the border itself kind of pop a little more and gives it that really nice neon effect and that's it that's your that's your neon border now if you want you can also add some text so we can do backslash uh I'll do this all in caps uh, if you want you can change the font uh, we can change it to something maybe a little more oh Calibri uh, and then of course you can change the color we can go with a white uh, we didn't get our we didn't get our last backslash in there come on now making me, making me look bad there we go so there's that and that's that's just if you want to have a little 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 something extra there and we can move it in place oops we're doing we're doing the wrong one though let us have our there we go and just go ahead and move it into place or wherever wherever you feel will work just have it in the corner there and there you go that's uh that's the image there so now what you want to do is remove the background hide the background again because all you're looking to have is just the the text and the border so now we're going to come up here we're going to export and this will just call neon border save it in the same place as your image mask and same thing hit enter again and you're good to go so that's the design portion of the tutorial so next we're going to move over to streamlabs obs to implement this in our actual stream now we're over here in streamlabs uh, i'm using streamlabs obs because obs studio is being used to record this but it should work in either program no problem so what you're going to want to do is we're going to begin by adding our webcam so do video capture device add source uh, you can name it whatever you want of course and here's our webcam you can see me here uh, don't worry about everything in the background because all that's going to get cropped out so uh, initially it wants to do device default but we're going to actually select custom and then select whatever resolution works for you for me i'm going to be going with 1080p now now you can actually see more and you can see my my lawn my lawn don't don't look at that don't 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 look at that 
and, 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 don't, and don't look at this over here either. Just don't, don't look at any of it. Just maybe close your eyes for a second. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's add the webcam. So now we have the webcam selected. Let's right click on the webcam, select filters. And no filters are applied right now. Let's click our little plus icon. We already have image mask blend ready to roll. So we'll click done. Now you want to come up here and change this drop down to alpha channel. And then here for the path, select browse. And then we're going to select our image mask. And there you go. Now you're all cropped out. Now all this, all this junk on the sides and behind you, it's all, it's all gone. Now you can open your eyes again. Just, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and click done. So now we have the, the our webcam. Uh, we still need to take care of the green screen, but we also need to add our border. So go over here, open a new another source, and we're going to select image. Add source, name it whatever you want, browse, and then click on your neon border. Click done, and there you go. Now you have the neon border. But as a little extra, we're going to also take care of this, uh, this, this green screen behind me. So we're going to go back into our webcam, right click, filters. We're going to add a chroma key, which maybe some of you already know how to do this, uh, but we're just going to go through it real quick. Uh, there we go, chroma key. And now we have the green screen out. We're going we're gonna to change this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to bump it up to about 425 to give a little bit more. It's also interacting with my my shirt a little bit because I have a dark green shirt on today. Uh, no worries though, no worries. Uh, so now we have the green screen out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another source. And this is gonna be a media source. So I have browsed on YouTube for uh, a number of different uh, royalty-free videos. Uh, and at least so far, I haven't encountered any problems. Uh, be sure you want to click loop uh, for these particular videos because these are looping videos that I that I'm using. Uh, so they just they just loop over and over again. Uh, beware that I think some of them might have sound. So this is a cool little kind of retro wave uh, style uh, video. And then uh, go ahead and click done. But here's the problem. It's covering up everything else. So let's go ahead and move this down below so now now you can see uh the in the, the the video behind me where the green screen is uh but there, there's a problem that this is still taking up all this space so we actually need to apply the image mask to our video as well so go in here video or uh, filters sorry and then image mask went again and then same thing alpha channel and select your image mask and boom now you have everything where it needs to be. Uh, you can see the video is kind of, kind of trying to cut through my shirt a little bit. That's that's actually kind of a cool effect. Maybe maybe I'll start using that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the that's the entire tutorial for creating an image border. Uh, just you can you can experiment with different shapes uh, and different sizes, you know, to your liking and preference. There really is no limit so long as you keep it within the the bounds of your camera's resolution and uh yeah that's it happy designing if you found this video helpful please consider giving it a like i plan to make more videos like this in the future so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more if you have any questions comments or requests for future videos feel free to use the comments below to make your voice heard i will try to respond as soon as i'm able to Finally, spread the word about this and other videos on my channel if you know someone who would benefit from this. Of course, if you want to see these tools in action, you can always stop by my Twitch channel, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.